Dr. Jaffe, is coffee acidic or alkalizing to the body? Well, we have just reviewed that question, and there are surprises in regard to the truth about coffee. Now, I'm going to recommend a specific kind of coffee. Shade grown, generally of a pea berry kind, which means smaller beans that are freshly roasted just before they're sent to you. Now, many, many problems of mold and acid formation, which occur because coffee is very often roasted many months before it's made into coffee for you. And if you look at commercial coffees, where they want as much coffee as possible as quickly as possible, you end up with more caffeic acid. You end up with more acid. Don't recommend that. I do not recommend that. Um, my favorite personal one is called Old Hawaiian. They have just come back into production, so you can say hello to Misha and, and look up Old Hawaiian True Kona Coffee, roasted more or less just within a day of them sending it off to you. And if you buy six or 12 at a time, um, the price is quite reasonable. There's another company that I think is excellent. They certainly are saying the right things on their website called Life Boost. You can get light, medium, or uh, dark roast from them, but they're adamant about the fact that most coffee is contaminated and acidic, and their coffee is almost alkaline. Now, I have tested this. I have a pH meter and I have pH strips at my home. And I make coffee in the morning. And I've tested both the Life Boost and the Old Hawaiian. Old Hawaiian is slightly more toward the alkaline side. But Life Boost is 6.8 to 7.0, which is quite good for coffee. So I do enjoy a cup of coffee in the morning. That helps me to some extent focus my day. But I never have two cups of coffee. Because the effects of caffeine are biphasic. A little bit is good for you. More is not good for you and will make you jittery and less functional, less productive. So don't just stoke up on coffee thinking that it's going to energize you. There's a little bit that's beneficial and then more that's not. And in, in many situations, that's the way life actually is. It's by face it. A little bit is okay and good for you, especially if you have it in variety. Um, and so I'm glad for the question because the question is, is coffee acid or alkaline? I'm favoring the more alkaline-like coffees, the ones I mentioned. Um, but I'm also adamant about testing to make sure there's no heavy metals, there's no mold, there's no chemical contaminants, there's no fungicide, there's no biocide, there's no pesticide, because very often the commercial uh, coffees which are not shade grown and are not pea berry, um, have a lot of pesticides uh, applied to them. And if you talk to the growers, they tell you they have to do that. Now, I just sidestep that entire problem, because it is a problem, by having a more alkaline coffee that is uncontaminated. It actually tastes better. It raises my dopamine levels the warmth, the aroma, the taste of coffee. Um, so I do enjoy it. But as with other aspects of my life, I want the healthier available version. 
um, so that I can apply nature, nurture, and wholeness. I can apply nature's alkaline way, nature's pharmacy to my coffee. 